So I'd say it's running at like 720, maybe 480 for me, which isn't bad. No, it's not bad. That's pretty good. Considering it was probably uh, it looked like it was running 360 or lower on Steam. <laughs> Alright, so we still have a use for Skype then, I suppose. Alright. Uh, what? So, welcome back, everybody. Hi. Special guest, uh, the I can marksman. still see their angry faces uh, wait, as they stormed the manor. But uh, I was dead before they found uh, me. Open up this volume mixer, and the letter yeah. was on its way. <laughs> so you can fuck with all the volume levels? A little bit. Alright, so, uh, I disabled my line 1 and line 2, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, I, I fucking I turned those off. I can't, I'm not doing that shit again. So... I left them in, though, just in case. Yeah, probably. I have them in there still, too. But, uh, by request of this shithead, I'll explain quirks a little more easily. Uh, there's negative and good quirks on either side, and you can have a max of five, and new ones will replace each other as it goes on, but... Uh, good ones will just provide random bonuses, like Unholy Hater gives 15% damage and 15% uh, minus 15% stress damage to unholy creatures. So, all that, unyielding, plus 10% death blow resistance. So, just, just really basic oh, death. stuff. He's got a really high death blow resistance. Yeah, I know I do. I have unyielding. <laughs> it's normally 67, but now it's 77. Oh, never mind. That's 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 okay then. Yeah. Then, uh, there's negative ones, like Amnesia, uh, an Anemic. Which is minus ten percent bleed uh, resist necromaniac. Uh, necromania. Uh, fascinating with corpses. It means anything that's generally like a corpse on the ground, like a curio that's a corpse. I'll just generally be like, no, nah, yeah. fucking move out of the way. I want to touch it. So basically, if there's something weird, your character has to interact with it. Yeah, and then there's like fear of beasts. Uh, plus fifteen percent stress damage and minus ten percent accuracy versus beast type characters. Why, why is there a skull next to the name? Uh, that is, that means it's locked in hard and it cannot be switched out and it costs a lot more in the sanitarium to remove. Yeah, okay. So like okay. if I go here That's and go thought. to uh, quirk treatment. See, this costs 5,000, this costs 15. You can yeah. reinforce your uh, good ones though to make sure they're not uh, turned away or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which costs a lot of money, but you know. Sometimes wow, this sanitarium seems really fucked up. Yeah, it's a sanitarium. Out of curiosity, are you playing in windowed mode? Yes. Okay. Ugh, this guy. Alright, whatever. Let's just he... ignore that. Anyways, I forgot what I was doing last. Uh, I believe you were gonna go fight. Did you go fight, fight the boss that you were talking about? Uh, yeah, I uploaded that one. I, I only I watched the that. second episode. I only watched the second episode. No, why, episode 4, I fought the wise attack. Okay, have I have I been wrecking everything so far with uh, front shot blast? Uh, the uh, point blank shot. Yeah. Oh, well, what's what's Miron? Miron. Miron. What class is that? Oh, grave Down. robber. Oh, I've never seen the grave robber. Or a grave robber. Grave robber. <sighs> okay. Well, first, I think we should get suicide brave off out. You could just go offline. You know, I'm gonna. You know, like all pro people do. Okay, there we go. You don't have to do it like that, but. Okay. Shut up. Anyways. Oh, uh, wait, why do you still have the loans? He died. Who? It no, says you had. That's a diff. This is a different one. <laughs> With the same name? No. I vaguely remember him having the same name. No, I can look this, this up. is a different one. Go look it up if you want to. This is a different one. I'll assure you of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a, I'm, I'm most positive it's a different one, actually. There's no way it could be the same one. Hey, it's a random name generator. Lightning uh, well, can strike twice fair. in the same place. Yeah. I feel like this was an easy one before. Why is this medium now? better? What the heck? Okay, so explain to me how these levels work, because I feel oh. like they changed it from the last time I played this. Uh, resolve levels? At the end of every... No, 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 not resolve levels, the levels of the areas. Oh, the levels of the areas. So, uh, it says apprentice, so anyone that only has white in, or this grade, which is level zero, uh, yeah. they'll be fine. Oh, no, even le level zeros won't be happy going on it. They'll start with bonus stress, and they'll take more stress damage. Okay. The same thing with like medium ones, level th veteran level three. So as soon as someone reaches level three, their little two here, or it'll be a three, yeah. will become green, and that means they're a more seasoned adventurer, and they'll be able to go on these missions no problem. But if I brought out this group right here, it would uh, 
end up, uh, you, uh, we would all start with more bonus stress, we'll take more stress damage, and everything will just be harder, there'll be new, like, higher tier enemies, and they'll be stronger than the rest of us. So, it's Okay, best you're, right, you had a co like, you're right, he had a completely different name, it just seemed like the same name to me. So, I don't, I guess we're gonna go with this, and then, uh, take everyone off here, because I want to bring them out for their level up mission to be another boss mission, so I guess we'll go here, actually. And we'll bring this lady, this man... This but guy. the antiquary is uh, terrible. It's pretty terrible, but like I'm just going on here for just to get the level up, and so I might as well bring for more money. Money, money, money. Yeah, we'll bring... Oh, he's religious. Fuck, you can't. We can bring Lucy along. So, what do you think the best classes are? Uh. Oh. Never tell him of this. No. Is that? Yeah. I before the S. There we go. But he doesn't have a level. He's level Wait, one. Does he? The, okay, he does have a level. Yeah, he's level one. But, uh. Anyways. Just, uh, click all these. Oh, that's right, I got this thing. You did. You got the restraining. A very rare restraining padlock. Minus stress on his transformation, which makes them more viable, and will give them a damage stone. So basically, you can actually do stuff now? Oh, you could do things before, it's just everyone was really hunting stress during that mission. <laughs> I think he was useless. I think you overvalue abominations. Not in a proper setup, I don't I feel like you should only send out the bo an abomination by himself, and see what happens. <laughs> Honestly, occultists are one of my favorites. I also really like the, uh... I hate how much they can just potentially fuck you. It's the worst. Why? Because! They can just heal for zero oh, and heal for damage! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he can't use this skill, so... Uh, I'm only giving him the sacrificial stab because I'm putting him in the third slot, so... Okay. I keep her in the uh... back because she can actually just work from every other spot except the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll let him get uh, I also really like the bards. They're cool. The jester? Yeah, the jesters. Yeah, he. You, you generally want a back row jester with battle ballad and inspiring tune with an abomination, because with the abomination you can just inspiring to anyone who's getting too stressed out or the abomination himself, and it'll make it like near possible. Well, I, I like the whole like attacking like the finale and shit. I Solo like that finale. stuff. I think that's really cool. Though. I have him do solo finale, even though I normally run harvest and uh, slice off. Yeah. So explain to me how the provisions work for this, because I've never seen anything oh, farther so than like a low level mission. All right. So for medium length missions, you get a firewood, which takes up one of your spots, and in a room where uh, in a room, not like a hallway, but in an actual room, you can yep. use it, and you get a little prompt to consume either zero food, half yeah, the yeah, yeah, food yeah, you yeah. your regular food, or 50% uh, extra food. Yeah. And they'll give benefits or, or a negative associated with how much you eat. And then yeah, you get because 12... if you don't have food, they, they get really stressed and, and pained. freak out. But uh, you get 12 use or twelve uh, time tokens, basically, and each character has camping skills, like these. These are camping skills. Yeah. And they have time costs associated with them. You use up 12 or as much as you can with your party, and you just either apply buffs, reduce stress, or anything in sort. Yeah. Yeah, so... Out of curiosity, what does the Abomination have? Uh, for skills or for camping? For camping skills. Well, every character generally has three shared skills that every character can have. Or they each yeah. character has a sort of set three that they get. And then they have four unique ones. So, the Abomination's first one is Anger Management, it takes 3 time, and increases stress by him by 20, but it reduces oh, all okay. other companions' stress by 10. Psych Up increases his damage for 4 combats, but increases his uh, stress by 20 instantly. Hmm. Uh, quickening increases his speed, and that's it. it just plus four speed that's for pretty good. And then Eldritch Blood just gives him a lot of uh, resistances, but as well as plus, uh, plus stress damage. So you'd use that in like... I would actually a, a never, place without would, the cultists. I would actually just never use this. Ever. Well, yeah, that actually, on that, it's not that good. 
Eldritch Blood is pretty garbage. Quickening and Anger Management are pretty good. Psych Up's also pretty good if you have someone, if you have a high level Jester with uh, Inspiring Tomb up. Oh, by the way, Biscuit is spelled uh, completely wrong. I after the U. That one. You fucking like. Like you, you corrected me on the. Oh uh, no, 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 no! The first eye is gone. Oh. That that that's what's been confusing me this whole time. I'm looking. No, the U is gone. Okay, there's two eyes, only one U. I'm sorry, I don't casually know how to spell biscuit. Actually, no, fuck it. I'm looking this up because it still looks wrong. It might be right, but it looks a little wrong to me. Okay, that's it. It's fine. Alright, uh, so the provisions, you generally want to take enough food to feed your guys for the whole time. There are, like, curios that give you food, but you don't want to rely on that too much. And, for and you're taking part, extra torches because it's really long. And well, then... for the most part, yeah, I generally just take this many torches. Uh, I go by the rule to take, uh... take an additional shovel for each uh, length of mission, so short would be one, medium would be two. Except in the wield, I would take double what you need just because the wield, for whatever reason, generally has more rubble in the way. Okay, so what you're saying is, uh, take all the keys. Uh, you do and, definitely uh, want to take at least Take everything. Keys. So, your provisions get, like, used up, whether you use them or not, right? Uh, if you have provisions at the end, they are sold for a percentage of what they cost. That's really stupid. Well, you bring them back and you just give them back. It's like, well, I had the shovel, but you can have it back now, and he gives you a percentage back. Oh. Or, or you could be like, yo, I bought this shovel, and I'm gonna keep it for the next one, so I don't have to buy another shovel. That would be nice, but... That's... Start this so that's, the, 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 that's one of the things I don't like about this game. I feel like it hard modes too hard. So that, well, that's Everything else, as hard as okay. Possible. Everything else, okay. But that, I think, is kind of stupid because it's literally idiot mode. I'm going to sell you back this shovel for less than I paid for it when the next time I go out, I'm going to need to buy well, another it's shovel. It's more like you're putting down a borrower's fee. The like fiends a, must be what's back. called? I don't know the word. And what better place to begin a down than the seat of a noble it. line? And you get back except a bit you're not, because you have to... Except you have to buy back the whole thing. So I'm only going up this way because the uh, quest is to complete 100% of room battles and just a battle up here. I'd rather yeah. not, but... On him because fuck these guys. I hate these guys. This, this stupid move. Blanket fire is OP as shit. It is, like look at this debuff. I just watch. So uh, I'm just gonna note that uh this screen share is really broken. How? <laughs> Whenever anybody moves. You know what? Uh, maybe I'll share my screen so you can see. Just for a second. Just, uh, kill these guys. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Right, As the fiend the falls, the a faint hope blossoms. Ooh. Nice dodge. Anyways, I sent you a picture of uh, what my screen looks like. No, not the On Skype. What the heck? Ugh. And <sighs> that's, and that's whenever anything moves. That's pretty bad. It's not the worst thing, but it's pretty bad still. Yeah. So like on the still screens when it's just your mouse moving, and then like transitions it's not bad, but like these fights are kinda ace. Well, but I suppose, but eh. It's probably not like the worst thing in the world, is it? Nah, it got worse. It did it? So like, you know how it was black below the half of the screen? Like, well, it was a shade darker. Now it's just gray. Like, I can't, it's just like gray. Like, there's nothing there. Confidence <laughs> surges as the enemy crumbles. Basically, <laughs> guy's out now. I don't see much other point holding this fight off except for him. Aw, oh, nice crit for four. So the occultist, he, he is a healer, a damage healer, but his one heal can heal from 0 to 12, but it has about a 60% chance of causing bleed, 
So you can heal for zero and bleed them to deal damage. Yeah. That's why I prefer so the continually onslaught. You bringing up the character profile fixed it, but now it's once you brought it down, it unfixed itself. Anyways, uh, the bottom half of the screen is just broken. Apprentice and query, we got the uh, rare antique from uh, from the battle, so that's the thing she does. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, she sells for money. Let me uh, open this up and Finding get the minor stuff one. Is only the first test. No, get the get the oh, antiquary to open home. things up. Yeah, I did. I just got the minor oh. one for it. Oh, did you? Did you? I thought they had to be in front. No, you just have to click on them. Like you can open things up with certain characters by just clicking on them and having them selected. Okay. The light, the promise of safety. So with the abomination, I didn't really do it well enough with the last time we had him, but uh, you want to transform him in room battles and keep him in human form in non-room battles because of the stress is more than non-room battles. Yeah. Let me just uh, do one of two of these. Such high damage. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. You know, that really sucks. The abyss uh, artillery is a really good move. Hits the back two for a decent amount of damage, bonus damage against Eldritch yeah. creatures, but when it misses, it sucks really bad. But we got Iron Swan to hit the back. Back to the pit. Back to the pit. Just get out of here. We will use the Invigorating Vapors to increase our dodge just to get out of here without making any hits. Yeah. That's probably like her best skill. That's like her best skill. Well, considering you nerfed the. Uh... Vikings dodge or something with the uh, uh, item. Maybe it wasn't the Viking. No, yeah, I, yeah, I, it no, it's her speed. Her speed down. No, her dodge downs. She's got minus two dodge from the unholy ring. Oh, you're right. I thought that was speed. Oops. Oh, might as well just start breaking. <laughs> yeah, has uh, negative speed from the other item. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I think. That sucks. Another so do all items have like negatives to them or just some? For the summer? most part, like some of them don't like this one, this class specific one, plus 25% max HP. And it's just really good or what? It's not even that good because it's on a kind of garbagey class, but keeps her alive, I guess. So there's that. Yeah. This momentum. Push on like, see, to the task. Instead of holding end. 15, we are going to hold up to 2,000 because she's here. And that's stacks per antiquary yeah. on your team. So, say if you just had a team of four antiquaries, it would. Send uh, them to the wield. <laughs> on level one missions to farm for gold. It would be so bad. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Why would it be bad? Just because they're bad? or? Yeah, because all their stats are so low. Well, send like, like max the... level ones if that does anything. You can't send like if your guys are level three, they can no longer go on level one missions because they think it's too easy for them. Wow. So like this is below me. So you have to manage that as well. So that's an important part. Always check your trap disarm to see who has the most. She doesn't even try to disarm traps very well. She's supposed to be all about self sustain and self survival. She can't disarm a trap very well. <laughs> Literally, the only use for her is getting more gold. And is it worth? So, Not always. Sometimes. So tell me about these critical scouts. Oh, the critical scouting. Uh, yeah. So when you have high light, you get a higher chance to scout, and there's just a percentage chance that any time you do scout, you get a critical scout, and it'll show a golden star somewhere uh, in the hallway. If you go up yeah. to that space and click W. You'll enter a secret room, and if you have a skeleton key, you'll be able to open the chest and you'll get, uh, trapezoids or something like that, and they give you a lot of gold or, like, ancestral tier equipment. Okay, or so basically amazing stuff. Yeah, it, it's really good. Even the cold I'm gonna bet you there's two more, two more of those things passage. in here, and I'm gonna be sad I didn't get a third shovel. What do you mean? Uh, the blockages, you need shovels to clear them up, or they, uh, do a lot of stress take down a lot of your light and deal a lot of damage to your team. 
but having yeah. a shovel just negate uh, a shovel negates that fact as long as you use it. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm saying there's gonna be three I have to clear, and I only brought two shovels, and I'm gonna be sad about it. I believe it. Get her the adrenaline rush skill. It's not much of a heal, but it clears bleed and blight and basically counters all of her self uh, debuffing skills. Yeah. Another well, one falls. What do her two attacks do? Uh, she has a lot of attacks, but currently, uh, break or the the skills that like hurt herself, she has three of them. Bleed out. Well, which which tell me what skills she has right now. So she she's got wicked hack, which is her basic just regular hit. Uh, it has a decent crit mod. Uh, Iron Swan, which she has to be in the first position, and it only hits in the fourth position. So it's her own, like her only true way of hitting the fourth position. Yeah. Her third skill she has right now is Bleed Out, or if it bleeds. Uh, it has a negative damage mod, but it hits the middle two, including the third spot, which she can't normally hit very well, and yeah. it bleeds. So that's pretty alright. And then her fourth skill, I just have Breakthrough for AOE, but it has a negative damage mod, and it's one of the three skills she has that hurts her by actively using it it doesn't yeah do damage, so it would it be like uh um, so it would be like a last turn move or something uh, sort of something like that but the the, the stat the debuff would last to probably till the next combat oh for a bit. so then, yeah it'd be a really good you might be able to use some of her better attacks oh if you had adrenaline Dude. rush yeah basically but i would have to build around that like, Remind yourself that out, overconfidence only the first is target, but it has and insidious a plus killer. damage mod. It does a lot of bleed, but again, it just hurts you. Yeah. Barbaric Yop's a two-person stun, and it hurts you. So they're that good. seems amazing. They're really good skills, but they're really self-harming to her. Oh, I should probably do this. Carry his blade up so he doesn't take too much damage. Oh, God. Uh... I'm gonna bet it's up there, but I'm gonna take this route around and hope that this is the clearing more rooms will result in all the rebounds. By yeah. the law of probability. The way is lit. The path is clear. Note that we are uh, 25 minutes We require minutes in. only the strength to follow it. Yep. Somewhere around there. Maybe not exactly 25, 22. I'd say maybe 20. Alright, well, we do yeah. have to spend a lot of time talking. Uh. I'm just gonna transform because this is a battle. The ground stun. quakes. The ground quakes. Ooh, we should do this. We'll just start we uh prepping them up for a break. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, Let me down here. So should probably name you Kaiser T Knight then, the cultist. Vehicle, why? Just letting me down every time. Wow. <laughs> wow. Crush. My my heart is crushed. Yeah. Foolish horrors. We're gonna get a lot of Brought money on this. And driven into the mud. Another good thing is even if you end the battle while transformed, you still get the benefit of his uh, transforming back. Though it gives him minus four speed, it give it heals him for five HP as well as stress heal one for everyone else. Yeah. So just ending combat and transforming back activates that. Oh, so it's not like everything else. Yeah, so see, he has minus 4 speed. It should end here. Sack's contents are yours. Damn right they are. So I'll probably camp up right here and then hope this is the last room battle, but knowing the game probably won't. I also never touch books, because for the most part, books, books will fuck you and give you something bad. <laughs> but reading is bad, kids. Remember that. Never read. Watch anime, not manga. Don't read manga. That's my stance on it. You can get a torch and a mire and peek here. Holy crap. Top of fortune. Waiting to be spent. Uh, Britain might leave or is going to leave the European Union. Union. I don't believe Britain will actually do that because they're too much of a. Uh, they voted. They have already voted in favor of it, and it's starting to happen. Oh, holy fuck! They aren't. They aren't as pussy as the Scots. This, this happened. I didn't today. 
didn't camp, like I said. I Britain's vote to leave the European Union yes, is not legally binding, and there are a few ways it could theoretically be blocked or overturned. However, it would be seen as political suicide to go against the will of the people as expressed in the referendum. Apparently, it was like 51% or something. <laughs> Damn, dude, that was almost as close to the Scottish separation. That shit was really close, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. It was like 51 against compared to 49, too. I'm just gonna hurt some on this guy and hope to kill him, but come on, because that never happens. For whatever reason, I don't think he does, but I, f I feel like the ab abomination just gets tankier whenever he fucking transforms at the same time. As he's getting but maybe that's just my imagination because right now he's getting kicked on. It was like, apparently like 48% to 52. For what? For to leave the European Union. No. So yeah. They, they, they well, forty-eight to fifty-two. It won. Oh, so yeah. fifty-two to forty-eight in favor. Fucking Christ! Amazing. <laughs> the good old one heal. You're doing as good as uh, <laughs> you're doing a heal as good as what's her face there, and she's bad at healing. I told you I don't like the abomination. What? Well, this ain't you though. So. Oh, there we go. Nice. Well. I guess I can't call you men because he actually does something good every so often. I do something good every so often. Not as often though, I would say. You probably do it less. Wow. Than... Right. Well, you know what? He'll probably heal 12 more often than you do anything useful ever in your life. Well, you know what? Maybe one day I'll appear out of nowhere when you've like got your leg cut off and I'll just be like, I heal you for 12. <laughs> and I do. In real life, and your leg will grow back. And then you'll be like, Tyson, you did come help me once in a while. <laughs> what the once ever? <laughs> once ever, once in a while, but once ever. Just yeah, but it was a really important once. That's so it counted as <laughs> really multiple times. Time. But a victory nonetheless. Also, I knew this would happen, that this wouldn't be the last one. The contents are mine. Alright, so I'm gonna walk <laughs> back here, then I'm gonna camp. I'm All right, I think uh, that, that'd be a good place to end the video. Is no. that the campsite? No. The mission's almost over. Why would I end the video? Because it's uh, just about time to end the video. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. Oh god, I don't have much food. Just anger management forever. Nice. <laughs> what just happened? Uh, she. I used her capping ability, trinket scourge, which randomly produces a trinket, and it just gave me an uh, occultist trinket. That oh, gives them plus cool. crit versus eldritch and plus damage versus eldritch. So it's literally just good. Yeah. Only against Eldritch, though. Yeah. Used against the weird jellyfishes. Fuck those jellyfish. They were really weird. They're dicks. In Radiance, may we find Easy. victory. Never any nighttime ambush ever. While camming, there is a chance, unless you use a skill that specifically prevents it, uh, there's a chance that you'll just be ambushed at night and you can't use torches and you'll be set to zero torch the whole time. Sad. I feel like while you were camping that you would have torches up, but... No, you snuff the fire out of the sleep. Why would you have a torch on while you sleep? So that people couldn't ambush you? Can't sleep, uh, draw more attention to you because there's just a light going on. I guess. Just raise the arrows to watch something happen with this shit. Bump in the night. Booga booga. Dodged. I didn't want to stab him. Oops. Just click. Just click. I enjoy how she has a guaranteed kill on these skeletons. Yeah. It's pretty good to have a guaranteed kill on anything in this yeah. game. I died to 
a character like that, I'd be like, I'm so sad. <laughs> the weakest character in all the game killed me. The weakest character in all Where the land. Triumphant right. pride precipitates. Anyways, I've got another shovel, so fall. now watch as the next room battles up above this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a shovel thing. There was another one. There was a third <laughs> one. <laughs> I didn't go to it though, so. No, don't do it! Oh, hey. What? Egomania cork removed. Uh, so when you open these things, there's a chance you'll gain a bad cork or remove yeah, a good cork. Or you'll above. get. That. So I, I just... thought you could also get stress. You can get stress, yeah, never mind, you're right. You can get stress, but uh, the bad work, so that was like the best outcome probably. Because you can get buffed, but that's temporary. Having something permanent is yep. nice. Unless I'm done the uh, stress giver, because I don't want to get any more stress than I already do. Exactly. Just a stab. <sighs> Disappointment. So the like, amazing like, hero mode happens when your stress hits 100 and you roll the coin. Oh, uh, so. When you become uh, virtuous, that when you uh, when you hit 100 stress, uh, your resolve is tested, and you either become afflicted with either, like a random bad attribute, like um, abusive yeah. or masochistic, along those things, yeah. along those lines, or you become virtuous, so you become like powerful, or uh, you become powerful. Um, I forget the other ones because I don't really see it too often. Because even when I have a town event that gives me a buff to virtue chance, I don't get uh, virtuous ever. <laughs> so are there like strats for maxing, like uh, getting the max literally just on that stressing? And hoping for it? Yeah, there is. Though I won't do it because that's still super duper heavy RNG based, and I'm like, nah, I'd rather not just die to RNG because you get just a pro team. The pro team that only relies on RNG. Well, you just happen to get it every single time. That would be obscenely lucky. Like for ig for first mission, your whole team stresses out but goes virtuous. Dude, that'd be like, please. Multiple okay. times. I'm gonna heal this man because this shit's happening too. And what what are the bad traits? Like, how bad are these bad traits? Ah, uh, so. When you become afflicted, you get uh, negative stats, you get uh, minus stats, depending which one it is, because each one gives you different stat negatives. Yeah. And not only that, for the most part, you'll just, your the character will occasionally not do what you want to, slash do nothing and gain stress. And that, yeah. every time your, uh, your teammates do a move, they'll also just, deal, they'll potentially lash out at their team and cause them to gain stress. Oh, okay. So like, Stop abusive, moving. If they become abusive and you say like kill someone or miss an attack, they'll be like, "What the fuck's wrong with you? You fucked it up!" Strike. And then you'll be like, "Oh shit! Oh god!" And everyone will gain stress. And then, like, <laughs> I oh, did no. fuck it up. I'm this so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm listening to you, please. Wow, Ancient that did a lot. Ow. Fly and wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. So I'm just gonna quick eat up a lot of food because it's the last room and I want my abomination not to die. Oh, I got another rare antique at some point. I didn't even notice. Lots of money. Anyways, let's uh. Everybody is stressed. Why? Why, biscuit? Why you do this, you ugly fuck? A decisive uh, pummeling. Yeah, this is definitely better than you. I'm wow. so sorry for even trying to like attempt to sing name my shit. Wow. I might just leave the video right here. No, don't do it. I need you. <laughs> you need me. You're the one who wanted to do this anyway, it's the one who comes to you saying that. Well yeah, but it's still broken, so. Yeah, that's not my fault either. Dodgy dodged. Good heal? Ah, nice one heal. Yeah man, it'll stop you from the one from one tick of lead. Uh, of course leaves it with one HP so it can crit Grievous me. Injury. So if you were to weird reconstruction yeah. again, would it 
if you were to hit the bleed, like, again, would it double the bleed time, or would it reset it back uh, to three? It would reset it back to three and increase the damage. Oh, it would increase the damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was about to say, then, well, what stops you from just weird constructing forever and eventually getting, like, Well, there's more a than cap how damage. much bleed damage you, and it also depends on what skill is hitting you. But yeah, like, but still, it wouldn't be doctor, worth it if it stacks. Yeah, on the, on the Plague Doctor, um, the Plague Bombs that I use, that hit the back two row and Blight, you just yeah. spam that on the back row if they don't die. Like, if it's a boss that takes up the four rows, you just spam it on the back. Yeah. It'll stack damage up, and it'll be like, four, per, four for three turns, eight for three turns, twelve for three turns. Yeah, I saw you were doing that with the mini boss. Yeah, and then, uh, if you just keep doing it, you keep, if you keep landing blight and reapplying it, it just, re instead of going more damage, it just resets the round. Oh, okay. Success. Victory. Clearly yeah. in view. Nice victory. Or is it merely uh, I'm gonna a trick of the light? I'm going to continue up with a skeleton key with the enemy. They get a rare empty. No, I got a normal. I'm going to get, like, a lot of money off this. More bones return to rest. Though we got a pretty useful Devils streak here. Devils remanded to their abyss. I don't like this streak yeah, so, so this screen works fine, but like the yeah. whole adventure screen was broken. Look at all this, all these minor things. Look at that 11k gold. It's pretty nice. Plus the heirlooms. Oh, everybody's nice. got shit. <laughs> Minus 3% crit melee skills. Well, in town we'll never drink. That's fine. Minus 5% virtue chance. Nice. Obsessed with material things, aren't you already though? And resilient. Alright. Alright. Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Well. So why... Is there, like, certain places you put people? Or do you just, like, throw people wherever? Oh, when you go to embark uh, and setting up a team? No, 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 no. For uh, the first stress oh, relief. Oh, for stress relief? Uh, that depends. Like, there's some quirks that give them uh, bonuses to certain ones. And there's some that let them not do the others. Or there's ones that like force them to do one. So there's uh, yeah. like there's known cheat, and then there's one that basically makes it so you can only go into the gamble in town. You can have both of those at the same time. And they won't be able to ever stress relief. <laughs> wow. I'm addicted to gambling, but I'm a known cheat. <laughs> they won't let me gamble. Yeah, so you'd have to come here and you would have to remove one or the other. Or just throw them away. If it's a good unit, you probably don't want to do that. But you just, uh, for the most part, you're just trying to... Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's stupid. I did you upgrade it? I, I did upgrade it. I upgraded the bar once, but I want to save those for instruction mastery. Why do you also... want instructor mastery? Because it lets me, uh, it lets me upgrade my skills further. How do you, what, what does upgrading skills do? It just makes them more potent. Like, if we go to here, see how, like, the first level heals four, wait. Oh, the heal, the first level heals, uh, three to five. The second level heals four to six. Yeah. This one was, like, one oh, to okay. two, and now it's one to three. Oh, okay. And, like, a lot of the time, it'll just increase the effects of them. Like, this just increases its, uh, accuracy and its, uh, knockback chance. But at higher levels, does it become like crazy, or is it just right, so here, like, like even here. higher stats? Um, on Grape Shot Blast, upgrading it will give it plus five accuracy as well as uh, plus one crit mod, but it's still minus six. But oh, okay. Uh, with this buff, like, one, it increases the amount of buffs. This. Increases but what about the like the fourth upgrade and the third uh, upgrade? Did those really get like way far. better? Or no? they do get really good to that point because it's been upgrading for that long. Like, yeah. I haven't made it to that point before, but... Yeah. So that's the end of this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. And, uh, subscribe if you want to see like, yeah. continuous content from it. From me. Fun times all around. Please yep. tell me this is being uh, recorded. Yeah, <laughs> OBS on screen. Yeah. Wow, that's really bad. <laughs> Please uh, dislike his videos. I'm joking. Please yeah. like it or else you don't want it to me. <laughs> and I don't want to oh, hear man. it. I, I found it funny. Anyways. Uh, see ya. Bye. Bye.